before there was Carol Burnett, or Tina Fey, or even Ellen DeGeneres, there was Betty. Wasn't she a babe? Betty White is arguably the queen of comedy. A pioneer who trailblazed her way from radio to game shows to sitcoms. In the early 50s, Betty served as one of the first female producers on her first starring television series, Life with Elizabeth. The actress launched into a two-decade run of combining work and play with countless appearances on variety and game shows. In fact, Betty is probably the best game show guest celebrity who has ever lived. Queen! And sidebar, game shows would prove to bring more than just professional success to Betty's life. She met her third husband and proclaimed love of her life, Alan Ludden, on the game show Password. And if that's not romantic enough, in 1995, when Betty received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, as an honor to her, it was placed next to her beloved husband. But her big TV break came from playing the funny yet poignant man-chasing Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. I want a job where I don't have to smile. I don't like smiling all the time. It's against my nature. <laughs> her performance would earn Betty her first and second Emmy wins. Okay, wait, another sidebar? The role of Sue Ann Nivens was actually written for a Betty White type, not Betty White. It was at the suggestion of friend Mary Tyler Moore that the casting directors actually call the Betty White. In sharp contrast to her Sue Ann character, White would go on to play her most famous role, the sweet and naive Rose Nyland on the now iconic 1980s sitcom, The Golden Girls. He had a theory. Even a trip to the bank can be exciting if you wear a ski mask. <laughs> okay, real quick, another sidebar. I know, I know, but this one is really important. When Betty White first auditioned for The Golden Girls, it was supposed to be for the man-hungry Blanche, but the actress felt that part was too similar to the role she played on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. So she asked the producers if she could play the more naive Rose, and the rest, as they say, is history. And let's be honest, okay? Who doesn't love a good Golden Girls marathon? Even in her later years, Betty White proves she can still give us something to talk about. With appearances and projects such as The Proposal, her now iconic Snickers Super Bowl commercial. You're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Shattering ratings on Saturday Night Live. Live from New York, it's Saturday Night! And in what was supposed to be a one-time guest starring role turned leading role in the TV Land sitcom Hot in Cleveland. Oh no. I look like a f***ing Oompa Loompa. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, Betty White served as host and executive producer of Betty White's Off Their Rockers. In 2014, White was awarded the Guinness Book of World Records title of having the longest TV career for female entertainer, then spanning over 74 years in the industry. When asked if she would retire, Betty told the Huffington Post, why should I retire from something I love so much? Betty White is a national treasure. Betty, we salute you. We love you. Thank you for being a friend. Betty White, a living legend.